This What Do I Do If I Get Sick video is a VCUA's COVID-19 resource designed for individuals with ASD. Right now, the world is experiencing a global pandemic caused by a type of coronavirus. This virus causes a disease called COVID-19. It will be important for you to know what the symptoms of this disease are and what you can expect if you get sick. The symptoms of COVID-19 are fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Let's talk about each one of these symptoms so you know what it feels like and what to tell your family. If you get sick with COVID-19, you may have a fever. A fever means that your body temperature is higher than normal. That usually means around 100.4 degrees or higher. When you have a fever, you may feel very hot or sweaty. A thermometer will tell you if you have a fever. Your body has different ways to fight off infections and diseases like COVID-19. One of those ways includes a fever. If you feel hot and sweaty, be sure to tell your family. You may need your temperature taken with a thermometer, and you may be given a medicine to help bring your fever down if it gets too high. Temperatures can be taken by putting a thermometer under your tongue, in your ear, on your forehead, and by your armpit. It is important to sit still while the thermometer is working. When the thermometer is done, it will beep, and you can see your temperature. Another symptom of COVID-19 is a cough. A cough is a way for your body to clear the lungs. Your family will want you to cover your cough with your hand, your elbow, or a Kleenex. You may also be asked to wear a mask if you are coughing. If you cough into your hand, you will have germs on your hand. It will be important to wash your hands after you cough and before touching anyone or anything else. If you covered your cough with a Kleenex, be sure to throw it away immediately. It may be better to cough into your elbow to keep germs from spreading, since you do not touch things with your elbow. But if you are coughing a lot, wearing a mask will be the best way to keep from spreading germs. If you do not have a mask, you can also use a bandana or a scarf to cover your cough. Shortness of breath is another symptom of COVID-19. Shortness of breath means it's hard to take a deep breath and it feels like you can't get enough air. Sometimes it also feels like you are breathing harder or it feels like your chest is tight. When you run or walk up a lot of stairs, it can feel the same way. However, when you have COVID-19, you may be short of breath just walking to the bathroom or even just sitting on the couch. It will be very important to tell your family if you feel shortness of breath. If you have difficulty breathing at any time, your family will need to call a doctor. If your family needs to call the doctor, it will be important for you to show and tell them what is happening to you. You can use a graphic like this one to point to where your body feels hot or where it hurts. Remember, the symptoms of COVID-19 are a fever, coughing, and shortness of breath. If you have these symptoms, use a graphic like this one to tell others. Your family can help you feel better by first taking your temperature and then talking to your doctor. Because we are in a global pandemic, stopping the virus from spreading is really important. This is why your family may call the doctor to see what to do next. Your family doctor will have instructions on what to do and where to go. Because we don't want people to get sick right now, a doctor visit may look very different. Some doctors will want you to drive to their office or hospital and wait in your car to be seen. Or other doctors may use a phone or a computer to talk with your family instead of seeing you in their office. If your doctor does want to see you at their office or at the hospital, they may be wearing a mask and gloves. This is only to keep the virus from spreading to others. It's okay to be scared or nervous, but try to stay calm. Your doctor is there to help you feel better. Remember to show your doctor where it hurts and tell them what your symptoms are. 
If your symptoms are mild, your doctor may tell you to stay at home while you get better. While you are getting better at home, it is very important to stay inside and not go outside to play or take trips to the store. You may need to stay in one room of the house, like your bedroom, so that you can keep the rest of your family healthy. Think of this as your sick room for right now. When you are in the sick room and a family member comes to check on you, you may need to wear a mask. Your family members may also be wearing a mask. This just keeps the virus from spreading. If you have a family pet, it may be necessary to keep them out of your sick room while you are getting better. You and your family will also need to wipe down surfaces that you touch to keep the virus from spreading. Don't forget about covering your cough with your hand, elbow, Kleenex, or your mask. Throw all of your Kleenexes away immediately. You will need to wash your hands when you cough, but also throughout the day and at different times, like when you go to the bathroom or before you eat. You can also use hand sanitizer if you are too tired to walk to the sink to wash. Don't share any cups or food with anyone else in your family. This all can help keep the virus from spreading to others. You can do lots of things to help you get better, like rest, take any medications your doctor tells you to take, eat healthy meals and snacks, and drink water. You may not be hungry, but it is important to eat something, even if that is just some crackers, a little bit of fruit, and some toast. Drinking water is very important to help keep your body strong. All of these things will help your body fight off this virus. You may be tired and not have a lot of energy. This means you may spend most of your time lying down in bed or on a couch. You may also be sleeping a lot. This kind of rest will help your body fight off the virus. Be sure you have a comfy spot to rest and you are wearing comfortable clothes like your favorite pajamas. Even though you are resting in bed or on the couch, there are still things you can do like watch TV or movies, play games on a computer or an iPad, listen to music, or read a book. Remember, it's important to stay in your bedroom or sick room so that you can keep the virus from spreading. Make sure you have all the things you need and be sure to ask your family to bring you things to do, to bring you food and drinks, or to bring you things you need like your favorite blanket favorite pajamas, or even more Kleenexes. While you are at home, it will be really important to let your family know if you start to feel worse. If your fever gets worse, your cough gets worse, or if you have more trouble breathing, your doctor may want to see you again and may have a different plan to help you get better. You will also want to let your family know when you feel better. Your family will want you to take it easy for a little while. Once your fever goes back to normal for three days, then you may sit outside or even go for a walk with your family. Once you are better, you may also have to help any of your family members who get sick. If you want more information on how to wash your hands properly or want more information on COVID-19, let your family know that there are more videos like this on our website. 